Aquarius. I'm back. Oh, what's up, Aquas? What it do, honey? Y'all already know what time it is. We still add signs to the channel. We still going. We trying to, you know, pump these videos out for you. I'm a little behind, but that's all right. We gonna catch up and we gonna bounce back. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get on into it. We about to find out Aquarius dealing with air signs or Aquarius dealing with an air sign. Are we done? Are we done, Aqua? Are we done, Aqua? So let's get an overall energy. Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Okay, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Uh-oh. Dealing with a Libra. Overall energy. So, Aquas. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, honey. And click that notification bell. Because I ain't playing. But anyway, what messages do we have with the Aquarius dealing with the Libra overall message? I saw seduction, so... It's giving somebody could be trying to seduce you. So you may be done with this Libra. Or you're trying to seduce this Libra. Something about seduction. Overall message for Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Okay, done. The snake. Okay, so somebody in this connection feels like this may be like competition or there's a lot of competition for this connection for someone in this connection you always got to look over your shoulder the other woman clever malicious enemy competition at the bottom of the deck is passion insane chemistry like each other equally having fun so i don't know there could be a lot of competition but it's libra so maybe you are done let's find out Messages. Oh, I split the deck and I see marriage and regret. So I don't know. Somebody could be regretting. Somebody here could be a mistress. In this Aqua Libra connection. I don't know. Here, what messages do we have for the Aquarius and with the Libra? Are they done? Leap of faith and play hard it says it's safe to make the move you're considering and find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other we got finances at the bottom of the deck financial challenges are affecting this connection so maybe somebody's thinking about walking away from this connection yeah we got integrity does this situation align with your values and morals so i, I did say somebody could be the mistress or somebody is the other woman some like this connection is strictly sexual, so I feel like you're trying to get away from this, but there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of chemistry in this connection, but it's like, it's insane chemistry on this card, chemistry, so uh, the attraction you feel is mutual, so it's a mutual attraction <coughs> between you and this Libra, but I just feel like someone wants to be done. But you can't be done, because it's like the Sex is bomb. Mm -hmm. Crazy Lord the Libra. What messages do we have for you? Some of the Libra. Are they done? Just being near you is intoxicating. So, yeah. There's a lot of chemistry here. Insane chemistry. I look for you everywhere. So, maybe y'all are done. Maybe you done disappeared on this person. Or maybe they disappeared on you. Yeah. It says we will be together again. So, you're not together right now with this Libra. But you're not done either. I wish I had treated you better. Or maybe you are. I replay our conversations over and over. So yeah, maybe you are done. I feel like it's like a done for now. I couldn't let you get close to me. So yeah, somebody here was married or in another commitment. And the connection with you was just strictly, you know, what it was. I don't react when people mention you. So they try to act like, you know, they ain't really feeling you or some corny ass cornball shit they try to act like oh yeah you know the aqua it is what it is <laughs> messages for aquarius and with the libra are they done we got false person messages for aquarius and with the libra poverty so yeah 
I feel like you're you're done because you got tired. Somebody was somebody was living a double life or like hiding something. You didn't even know you were the other woman or this person didn't tell you they had another woman and and I don't know. Okay, I was dealing with the Libra. We got poverty, so I feel like yeah, you did. You left this person out in the cold. You got some type of message of concern. Maybe somebody texts you about this shit. Yeah. Maybe the main female texts you or main male texts you. And this, you know, prompted you to get the fuck on. So, I don't know, Chris. I feel like maybe you thought you were the main female, main male. It says distant horizons and occupation. So, I feel like you're working on your getaway. <laughs> It's just as simple as that. You're working on your getaway. Or you're either working on this connection. Or somebody in this connection is married. Okay. That's what it's given. Somebody in this connection is married. We got marriage showing up. Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Are they done? Yeah. It says engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like maybe I feel like maybe you two are married or talking about getting married or have talked about marriage. And this person is also too having a connection somewhere else. Okay, they play hard or somebody's playing hard to get now. Because you found out about this connection. Maybe now it's just strictly sexual. And I feel like. If it's just about the sex. Like does that align with your values and morals? Is that what you want? Is that where you want to be? Yeah there's a lot of chemistry here. A lot of passion. But it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Romantic feelings though. So. Somebody's definitely maybe trying to pro either propose to you or offer you marriage. Yeah, it says reconciliation. All oh, this shit just came out. Reconciliation. So, yeah, you two could be reconciling, getting back together. It says worth waiting for. But then we also got new love. So, you could be, like I said, getting. some of you are moving on and some of you are waiting around. Some of you are going to accept the apology romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring getting to know each other so this is if there's someone new but then at the bottom of the deck we got unrequited love so that's where the new love is coming in you're some of you are going to reconcile and you're going to realize it's it's really not given there's not a lo enough love <coughs> chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going but then we got true love right up under that this is the romance of a lifetime so I feel like this reconciliation is this unrequited love. You're going back to what you know not going to work. And then some of you are accepting new love or finding new love or finding a new love with this Libra. And it could be true love. Trust. This, this situation is calling for you to have faith, Aquarius. That's what this is saying. Let's get a final message. I know my sister Curry is dealing with the Libra. Curry is dealing with the Libra. I know my Mami Wata memory. So, hmm. At the bottom of the deck, it's Kad Amara. Y'all know I'm struggling. But initiation. So, let me read them to y'all real quick. Woocha. So, Mami Wata memory. I feel like some of y'all. I feel like they just gonna be another memory at this point. Like, and it, it's just, it is what it is. But let's see. 
Mommy water. So, mommy, uh oh. Wrong past the page. <clears throat> mommy water. The Dogen creation myth tells the story of Mommy Wata and dates back over 4,000 years. A figure is floating in the ocean with a large red and black snake around her shoulders. Her tail bursts with emerald greens and her hair encompasses everything around her. Mommy Wata is a spiritual and material oracle and comes to you when you are going to gain something if you call upon her for help. She loves to help women and will protect the sacred waters around her at all costs. Her eyes hold a stern gaze that shines intensely. The water in this car is a major factor as Mommy Walter will use the water to prove a point or teach a lesson if her messages are not received. Many people seek the help of Mommy Walter by dancing themselves into a trance. This car could be a sign of fertility. So, you know, maybe there's a, you know, chance of getting back together. Maybe you're going to get pregnant. No, so we got uh, Kata Mara. I think that's how you say that, y'all. We're we, we going to work on that, okay? She appears upside down, hanging form and hanging from a sturdy cannabis plant root. This suggests she is channeling through her feet rather than her crown. Her hands are unseen and her face is serene and graceful. It is time to accept yourself child it is time to accept yourself for where you are and who you are in this life the woman is tied up with an added shibari element to represent surrender and that she is accepting of this period of reflection she appears when you need to flip your perspective stand on your head invert simply get upside down and then look at the present moment are you noticing things you haven't seen before you are independent and sometimes that means following your heart despite what other people think of you she expresses that it is okay to be vulnerable sometimes. Perhaps you are living according to the expectations of mentors in your life instead of living for life firsthand. It is time to return to Sabata and take responsibility for the vibrations you're sending out. This card can also appear when you're being too hard on yourself. Surrender brings many rewards. If she appears for you, it is time to ask the following. Can I see this issue from another perspective? And hold on, y'all. Then we're going to move on. All right, Aquas. Moving right along. Moving right along. Okay, hood love. Community love. Could be showing love for the community, you and this Libra. Anyway, moving on to the Gemini. Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. And then I forgot. I just um, added some new, some, like, I wrote out some messages last night. Um, and I want to use them. And I just forgot to use them in the Libra reading, so we'll spin back but anyway <clears throat> Aquarius dealing with a Gemini Aquarius dealing with a Gemini are they done so some of them are like time cards because I added in a deck with with the deck that I wrote last night so their time dates And y'all will see. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll we'll use the date more. But yeah. I just kinda mix it's like three PM, eleven eleven, angel numbers, I think. Or like I don't know, y'all will see. <laughs> anyway. Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. Overall message for Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. Overall message for it says you never asked me how I felt trying to be my best self made me lose the best part of me you okay and at the bottom of the deck we got I'll come up with a plan to get you back so I feel like Aquarius dealing with the Gemini, it's it's like it's done for now. Um, it's not definite. It's not permanent. It's like it's just for now. 
is what I'm getting right off the bat. You never ask me how I feel. I feel like Aquarius, you might have just made a decision and that's just what it was. Or maybe this is how you feel towards this Gemini. They never asked you how you felt about certain shit. I feel like they realized that, you know, trying to be their best self, trying to get their shit together, trying to focus on them. They end up losing you on, along the way. But they'll come up with a plan to get you back. That's, that's what they said. So, I don't know if you're done or if they're done or we'll see. Where are you sitting with the Gemini? Are they done? Where are you sitting with the Gemini? Or you could leave me. I feel you leaving me behind. So they left you. Before you could leave them. And now they feel you leaving them behind. So. They don't want to be done anymore. Or maybe you left them before they could leave you. know I was a distraction from your pain I am becoming a better person so hmm. you don't know how hard it was to let you go okay so <clears throat> I feel like somebody here let the other person go flip the roles how they how need be you or the Gemini someone felt like they was a distraction from your pain or they know they was a distraction from your pain so somebody left before they could get left. And then it says, you never asked me how I felt. Because somebody here walked away and with no explanation, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Somebody just walked away with no explanation. You didn't even ask how the other person felt. It says, you and I were too young. I am afraid to contact you. So they could be afraid to reach out or you're afraid to reach out. It says I can't stop thinking about you. But someone here cannot stop thinking about the other person. So I don't know um, if you're done with the um, Gemini Aquarius. Or if they're done with you. Honey. It says time apart and lesson. Messages of love from Aquarius. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. And then it says second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance, though. Interference. But there's an external party interfering or intruding on this relationship. And someone is unavailable. So I feel like we saw second chance and somebody thought about giving it a second chance, but then somebody was rejected. Like, or somebody thought that they were going to get a second chance. Then there was a, like, a. <laughs> like an interference I told you trying to be my best self made me lose the best part of, of me so whatever external forces were going on that's what that's what was intruding on this relationship it, it was interfering trust we got trust it is safe to trust in this situation and it's true love at the bottom of the deck this love is emotional physical and unconditional so I feel like it's it, trust. It's okay, but I just feel like right now, yeah, it says an addiction is affecting this relationship. So that could be the interference. Um, passion, try something you've never done before. The addiction could be the interference or there could be like a job, workplace. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, child. 
Okay, so the Gemini. boss daddy so somebody here is giving you know big d energy very stable very rich business owner ceo so we did see i've changed or something about they've changed trying to be them best selves they was trying to be the boss daddy and somebody here was always partying so i feel like maybe i don't know that was the interference somebody tried to boss up and somebody just wanted to party all the time so maybe that was interference. Somebody was addicted to partying. It says marrying for money. And you're unfazed. So I don't know. Maybe the... I feel like somebody's going to try to come back around and just fuck with you because you got a bag. But you not standing this shit. I don't know, Aquarius. It says impersonator. Wants to be you. Acts like you. Dresses like you. Looks like you. Copies you. But you're unfazed. So I don't know if there's someone in your energy, in you, and the Gemini's connection, this interference, this third party, or if this is this Gemini and you're done and like it is what it is. It says kissing ass. So somebody's going to be kissing ass here. Somebody's looking you up. So they're watching you. They can't stop thinking about you. They could be afraid to reach out. It says looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Somebody wanted to boss up in this connection and they lost the other person. But somebody's coming up with some type of plan. Maybe that's why they looking you up. They're going to try to kiss your ass. Give you sweet nothing. Sweet little gifts here. Little, little hey, how you doing? Little check-ins. But you're unfazed. It says you're unfazed. So, I don't know. I don't know what y'all done. It says marrying for money. So, I feel like somebody just trying to come back around because somebody got a bag now. Or somebody getting a bag. Child. Spirit, final message for the Aquarius. Dealing with the Gemini. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So, this could involve your child or your... Some children... Some oh chat. I'm not going there. We got finances and career at the bottom of the, of the deck. So I told y'all somebody boss up. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Somebody wanted to boss up, and the other person was not really trying to do the same thing. Or I feel like they weren't ready. It said you and I were too young. There were a lot of messages in here. I feel like they just were not ready to you know move down the path that you were moving down so maybe you had to separate because they're coming up with a plan to get you back or you're coming up with a plan to get them back but i just feel like yeah y'all get it if you if you take them back it is what it is if you don't again it is what it is you know that's i feel like that's how you're looking at it all right moving right along Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Are we done? So let me see. I try to start off different, kind of. <laughs> Get a little bit of energy from Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Overall energy for Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Are we done? Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, okay, there's too many. Okay. I feel like y'all both are very powerful. I don't know. It's, yeah, change. And then it's like aqua aqua energy. Like, <laughs> I don't know. No more, no more. At the bottom of the deck, we got Wangwani G. My sexuality. So, yeah, they could. I don't know, Aquarius, you could have had a change 
in sexuality maybe this is you going up against yourself aquarius versus aquarius are we done are you done with yourself aquarius i don't know or this could be you just dealing with another aquarius in a connection and i feel like you feel like this is you going up against yourself and then we got sexuality here embracing your sexuality using that energy to expand using that energy to you feel me create I don't know. I feel, I feel like I want to read that card to y'all, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it at the end. Remind me. Aquarius, I'm looking at Aquarius. I read them. Aquarius, Aquarius. I wish I could take back my words. So, somebody wish, yeah, I wish things could be different. So, uh, I don't know, Aqua. But we will be together again. So, nope, you're not done. You're just done for now. This is done for now. Aqua versus air sign is all done for now. So I look for you everywhere. It's like just we're done for right now. But I'm going to spin the block. And that's from all the air signs to you, air sign. <laughs> I'm going to spin the block. Okay? Everybody going to figure out how to how to get it back. That's, that's what they're telling you, Aqua. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what they telling you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're an Aquarius, you're dealing with a Libra, dealing with a Gemini, they all connections are done for now. <laughs> okay? Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. What other messages do we have? Aquarius. Aquarius. What other messages do we have? Oh. I don't react when people mention you. So they trying to act hard. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, but they stay up all night thinking about you. So, why are you trying to act hard? Aquarius, this could be you versus yourself as well. That's what this card is giving me. We're going to tap in. So, I feel like maybe you're saying you don't react when, if, if this is you versus yourself, I don't react when people mention you. But, if you're not battling yourself and you're really dating another Aquarius because I'm getting two different energies here but yeah I'm so attracted to you so this Aquarius is so attracted to you I know I messed up everything if this is you take the messages and flip them like as if you were talking to yourself in the mirror I feel like someone here is doing some mirror work anyway Aquarius and Aquarius, are we done? Are they done with the other aqua? Up, oh, decision, interference. Messages of love. Look at this shit. Marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Retreat, time alone, or in nature will help you recharge. So, yeah, I feel like done for now. But I feel like this Aquarius is offering you marriage or offering you some type of commitment a sacred union you may not necessarily get married right now but they want to offer that it says acceptance so learning that everything happens for a reason accepting that everything happens for a reason unplugging working less will help strengthen your relationship so somebody could be unplugging or releasing themselves from stressful workplaces or stressful work environments Maybe you're overworking. It's time to unplug Aquarius. Reevaluate. Something here was strictly sexual or it was just a sexual connection. And then there's addictions here. And addiction is affecting this relationship. This connection is passionate but not enduring. It says passion. Try something you've never done before and then fate. This is a destined partnership. So maybe you're destined to be with this other Aquarius. Or maybe you're destined to work with yourself. Take take what resonates, leave what does not. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. I've learned my lesson. Can we please stop the nonsense? Is there a heart in the house tonight at the bottom of the deck? 
Spirit messages for creators and for creators. Where we go? Oh. Twelve weeks. That's what I say. Somebody could be. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> they they want to say so much. Let's see. I want to make you my wife or husband. We definitely got marriage here. And then this says September. So I feel like maybe next year. Or maybe something significant happened in September. Between you and this Aquarius. Something at 10 p.m. Or something happening at 10 p.m. In September. Either something happened or something is happening. Or maybe it's 10 p.m. now when you're watching this. 6 a.m. September. Something between you and this Aquarius happens in September. It's just for Aquarius. But it says they mean nothing to me. So, hmm. Something was just strictly sexual. That's why they're saying they mean nothing to me. And 3 a.m. is the final time. And then at the bottom of the deck, I want this forever. It don't get no better than this. So, yeah, something between you and this Aquarius is still definitely, you know, brewing. I feel like you're not all the way done. Let's see. Final message, Aquarius, and with an Aquarius. Final message for Aquarius and with an Aquarius. Final message. The message from the God damn. It says release your ex, new love, religious factor. So somebody's spirituality affects this connection. One final message. Oh, okay. We'll take it. New love. New love is the final message, Aquarius. So maybe you're moving on with someone else. Attraction. And release your ex. That's the final message. I'm going to read these cards to y'all. Because I promise. And somebody said read the cards. So I'm about to read them. Um, Numo Nomo. One, two, three. So the number one, two, three could be of significance. 123. And number six. The Numo Nomo is the chameleon of the culture suit. As culture changes, we change. And as we progress through life from adolescence to full grown adults, it may feel like we are battling ourselves. Didn't I keep telling y'all? Let me just shit the fuck up. Battling ourselves or our programs. Numo Nomo appears when the conditioning you have been and putting into your operating system is no longer compatible. This is a call for you to wrap yourself around what you think you know and what you may have been instilled in you as default by your parents, grandparents, and even possibly your friends, exes, and society as a whole. Small mushrooms gather around Numo Nomo and in the background of the car as a reminder to connect to the entire network of beings on the planet. We are all intertwined within each other and as we all come from the same source of energy. Connect with your inner warrior, healer, lover, friend, and be the chameleon of your own life. At times, you may even see the confirmation of the rainbow reminding you that all is well. The world is such is much smaller than you could imagine. Our connections are our connections to others are intertwined more than you know. So Yeah, it's definitely given connect with your inner like this is are you done with yourself Aquarius are you done with the old you are you done with the way you've been moving like what you've been accepting 119 um guan 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 guani guan guan guani maybe g my a black goddess emerges as she is fully in love with her sexuality, confident in her sacred power. She does not let anyone siphon energy from her. She activates the 
erogenous zones of those who allow their true divinity to shine through when working with creator energy the dolphin medicine reminds you to breathe through your energetic downloads this card is amplified if it appears partnered with the creative vortex the energy created by the embodiment of your sac sacred sexuality is a driving force and pa powerful manifester she is here to tell you that if you have forgotten no wait she is here to tell you that you have forgotten your worth and you need to embrace your full power. The creator energy is a powerful driver for manifestation, taking you into the most high dimensional realm that the erotic energetic expansion will take place in. It has already happened within your highest self. You must only remember to harness the energy and set an intention. So yeah, Aquarius, I feel like if this isn't you going up against yourself, battling yourself, trying to figure shit out, I feel like then, yeah, you're dealing with another Aquarius. But if not, and you're dealing with another Aquarius, you feel me? You know, it is what it is. Take what resonates and leave what does not aquas. We are, you know, going to leave it here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, don't forget to click the notification bell so y'all don't miss out. I'm still coming back to back. Don't play with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> All right. Peace out, kings and queens.